all right so let me keep it so real with you guys one my nails are trash two um i'm low-key ashy i just noticed that three um i still feel a little bit sick and four mother nature just started so yeah Alright, hey, so welcome back to my channel, you guys. I know you guys are probably thinking, where have I been? You guys, I went home for Christmas break and I did get a little bit sick. So I didn't have the energy to edit videos or post anything. I did pre-film also, but I didn't want to edit the video because I was so tired from being sick. Um, but before I did get sick, I went ahead and did a little bit of a haul. So I do have a bit of products in here. Um, actually quite a few to be honest with you guys so if you guys want to stick around and see what they are then go ahead and keep on watching okay so the first one i did get was the urban decay all night and makeup setting spray you guys know like this is one of my favorites i went to ulta because i was looking for a new setting spray to try but i always go back to this one because it really does help settle all the powders on my face and it also does lock in my makeup for the rest of the day so i had to go ahead and repurchase this one okay so moving on to another repurchase i did pick up the pore professional from benefits this is really good for my pores you guys because one my pores in this area is very large and in charge like I don't know what it is ever since I've been getting older they've been getting a little bit bigger um some people do say that I need to exfoliate more or do more mass I don't know honestly how to fix it but if you do have any tips please let me know down below but for now you guys I'm gonna go ahead and just stick with this because it's really easy and it really does help to fill in my pores so benefit professional Bomb. Okay, so moving on to another purchase that's new for me. I did go ahead and pick up the Marble Beauty Blender. Um, this, you guys, is so good. I do know they say like the black one and the brown one and the pink one and the green one, they're all the same. They're actually not. I don't believe so because I did buy the Nude Beauty Blender and that one was just too... I don't know too soft it ripped really easily it didn't blend my foundation that well um my favorite one so far is the black one and the marble one and you guys i just use this for my foundation and concealer and you can tell it's still very clean i went ahead and washed it for you guys but you guys can tell like it's still clean it doesn't stain doesn't rip it still has all the pink swirls in it it's absolutely perfect and actually is better than the black one i will say that it's better than the black one um i love how bouncy it is and i love how it doesn't rip easily i think this one's a little bit different from all the other ones i've tried i don't know what it is um but this one you guys is so freaking good i know not every sephora has it but if you guys see this one go ahead and pick it up because one i love it and two the swirls in here is so cute you guys like I love it. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the Tarte Shape Tape, I went ahead and picked up another concealer because I did just run out of my other one. And I really do love this, you guys. It's so creamy and so full coverage, but it's not cakey at the same time, which is kind of hard to find in a concealer. Um, the other thing I don't like about this, you guys, is deep right now is a little bit too dark for me when it comes to highlighting because in the winter, you guys know you do get a little bit lighter. Um, so this one doesn't really give me much of a highlight, so I have to go ahead and use a yellow powder with it to set my concealer. Um, but I do love this concealer, you guys. It's one of the best I've tried. Very thick, but it's also very um, not cakey at all. Very creamy, blendable, looks beautiful on the skin, and it's also matte. Cause you're real oily you guys know like you need a matte concealer matte foundation all of that but tarte shape tape i'm sure you guys already know about this but yeah it's one of my favorite out there okay so if you guys do know me you guys know maybelline fit me in the shade mocha when it comes to their powder it's my favorite set of powder in the whole entire world when it comes to my face but you guys know i was like trying something new so i went ahead and picked up the mac what's it called studio fix powder plus foundation in the shade nw45 you guys lord when it comes to high-end foundations or high-end powder foundations this one is my favorite because one it has a lot of coverage okay so for example let's say i go ahead and put one layer of foundation on my skin i go ahead and take a powder brush and dust this on the areas that need a little bit more coverage and it goes ahead and covers up all the dark marks on my face all my pimples like it's absolutely perfect and it also keeps me from getting oily but one thing that did scare me you guys to be honest was when i read reviews a lot of people were saying that it broke them out or they got pimples or something crazy so when i went to the mac counter i was like listen don't lie to me this is break me out and they of course they told me no they're not going to tell me yes so i was like all right you know what i don't know if i believe you but let me go ahead and buy it and try it out for myself so so far so good it hasn't broke me out but you guys this powder is so good honestly it does keep me matte all day it just gives me the coverage I need. I can wear it by itself. It's a perfect shade for my skin tone. I absolutely love it. So if you guys are looking for a new powder or a great powder or just something new to try, please go ahead and try this one out. All right, so this next brand, you guys, I don't ever know how to say it properly. People say it's so different with like a little bit of an accent, but this is the Ole Harrington or Ole Harrington. 
Anyways, you guys, this is the Ole Harrington Banana Bright Eye Cream. I have seen this all over Instagram, and I knew I had to get it. You know, something's just, like, screamed to me. They're like, hey, please go ahead and buy me. This one right here was one of them. Um, but anyways, the reason why I picked it up was because, one, it has a lot of claims. So it does claim to reduce the look of dark circles, firms and instantly targets fine lines and wrinkles, improves concealer wear. Um, it has pigments to blur, bright, and correct. So... I have seen all of that when I've tried this. I've only used it for two days, granted. I haven't used it for a week or so, so I really can't say too much about it. But I've used it um, for two days now, and it really does brighten my under eyes and gets rid of my dark circles because I have really, really dark circles, you guys. Like, they're really, really bad. But this one just gives, like, a little bit of a glow to it. And also, my concealer looks really, really good today. So, so far, so good. Okay, so, the next thing I did pick up, you guys, was the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number 5. You guys know I recently did try the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and I also do love that one. But I just want to go ahead and try out this shade because this shape is a little bit different. Um, but I also love it because it fills in my brows really, really fast, and it's also, like, the perfect shade for my brows. So, I have to go ahead and pick this one up. Okay, so I went to Sephora the other day, you guys, and they were having 50% off Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks. So, the only shade there that I did want to get was the sepia liquid lipstick I also did want to go ahead and pick up Ashton but Ashton was sold out but this is what it looks like let me go ahead and show you guys it's like that perfect grayish mauvey color it's so pretty I actually wore it the other day um but I love how she changed her wand you guys her wand is completely different it's flat on both ends I just think it's absolutely perfect but Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks, you guys, is one of my favorites. They're very creamy and moussey, and they're also very comfortable on the lips. Okay, right, so moving on to a brush, I did pick up the Luxie 207 Medium Angle Shade and Brush. But you guys, this is absolutely perfect for nose contouring. I don't do a lot of nose contouring. I mean, people on my Instagram used to come at me so hard, like, go ahead and contour your nose. Your nose is too big. I'm over here like, okay and i'm completely fine i'm still living um, but i do like once in a while to use a little bit of bronzer and just like you know shade it out but this is just perfect for my nose you guys like it fits it perfectly it blends it perfectly i think it's really really good um but you can go ahead and purchase this online i know ipsy does also have this but it's just like the perfect nose contour and brush okay you guys so the sun is finally going away so let me go ahead and wrap this video up but i did pick up four masks from yes to i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these before but i've seen them at ulta walmart target and so on um but i did use one yesterday which was a detox mask and you guys it was so freaking good um but i did go ahead and pick up your coconut mask their tomato mask and also their vitamin c mask so if these ones are really good you guys i will let you guys know down below okay so moving on to another mask i do have the l'oreal paris pure clay mask and this is their lemon mask you guys this one is so good especially in the mornings before i go ahead and put my makeup on so what i go ahead and do is put it on my face and i leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes then i go ahead and scrub it off and you guys, my skin just looks instantly brighter and more moisturized. Then I go ahead and put my makeup on and it looks so good. So this is like only $10 to $12 in the drugstore. I cannot remember the price, but if you guys are looking for a good lemon mask, go ahead and pick this one up. Okay, so last but not least, I went ahead and picked up a Vandy mirror because I've always been looking for a good light up mirror. And this one right here is from Impression Vandy. And I did get it today, you guys. And honestly, I don't like it that much because it did claim that it was a very bright mirror. Let me go ahead and turn it up all the way for you guys. But I was struggling so hard to see, you know, my face while I was doing my makeup earlier on. Like, it wasn't that bright. The lights were not that bright. And it was like $30 or $40. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. But what I do like about it is I can see my whole face. That's the great part about it. But at the same time, I did buy it for the light. Um, so it kind of defeats the purpose. So if you are considering buying this one, you guys, I wouldn't, to be honest, because it's not that bright, you really can't see yourself doing your makeup unless you have, you know, natural lighting coming through or you have a ring light or something else. So, before you dodge, you guys, I do not think this is worth it. Okay, so that's everything I do have for you guys. I really do hope you guys enjoy this video. I am so excited for 2018, you guys. Honestly, I'm going to go so hard on my channel, so hard on Instagram because you guys have been giving me so much love, honestly, on here and on Instagram, and it means so much to me. And the fact that I told myself, you know, the beginning of January that I'm going to go hard on YouTube, that I'm going to stick with it, and I actually stuck with it all the way till December means a lot to me. I'm going to go ahead and try not to cry. 
okay because I did start off with like a hundred and something subscribers in January and I told myself you know what just go ahead and start posting videos see where it takes you and you guys have been giving me so much love and I appreciate that so much so you guys 2018 is gonna be big I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm so excited and I'm so glad you guys are sticking with me so love you guys so much don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in 2018